Right, it's late at night, you're getting ready for bed when someone gently knocks on the front door. Someone calls your name asking for you to come outside. What do you do? The answer to that question resulted in a house riddled with bullets and now a lawsuit against the Cheatham County Sheriff's Department. News Channel 5's Nick Barris obtained exclusive police body cam video of what happened. It's after dark August of last year. Cheatham County Sheriff's Deputy Sergeant Doug Fox and Chris Austin are in Chapmansboro to investigate two 911 cell phone hangups. They arrive with no flashing lights, no sirens. Body cameras capture the deputies approaching the home of Mark Campbell. He, he just hates law enforcement. He hates anyone in, in authority. Sheriff Mike Breedlove says his deputies know Campbell's dangerous reputation. He's had prior arrests and approached with caution. On the video, you do not hear the deputies identify themselves. You do hear this exchange with Campbell. Come on out, Mark. What's up, man? You got a gun? What's going on, Mark? At that moment, you see Sergeant Fox turn away and pull his weapon. Seconds later, he fires the 40 caliber Glock. Do what, Mark? You good? Watch again. At first, it looks like Deputy Austin is hit as he dives for cover. You good? But all eight rounds went through the front door of Campbell's home. And I went to open the door, and I got the door open about four or five inches, and then... Boom, boom! Two shots come through the door. Campbell wasn't hit. He ducked and yelled to his wife as the rounds flew over his head. And when I hit the floor, I told her to call 911, somebody shooting at us. You still had no idea who it was? Never had an idea who it was. They do not announce themselves as police, as law enforcement. Attorney John Morris says there was no justification for the use of deadly force and is suing the sheriff's department in federal court. Well, we're alleging a violation of his civil rights. So why did this escalate? For one, you hear Campbell ask about guns and then claims to have one himself. He says to deter the strangers outside his home. That put the deputies on alert. It, it's simply dangerous going out there to, to his, his house. You got a gun? What's going on, Mark? You got one too. Yeah, I said I had a gun. Sure did. My client has had issues with people coming to his home and uh, roughing him up in the past not police, but other individuals. He doesn't know that these are the police. He knew we were there. Attorney Morris says the 911 calls in question did not come from his client's home, but Sheriff Breedlove says 911 dispatch sent his deputies there. Still, why didn't they identify themselves? I don't think they had the, the opportunity to, to even start that. The next question, why did Sergeant Fox fire the gunshots? You can hear him explain on the body cam video. Chief, I was one who shot. We go up to the door. He asked if we have a gun. He says, I got a gun. We we'll open the door, he lifts something up. Puts it up to the door like that, I shoot at him. Good job, bro. Yeah, so, Good um, job, y'all. So what does the video show? Watch closely. After that initial exchange with Campbell, Sergeant Fox turns from the home and goes for his gun. He says Campbell abruptly opened the door, pointing something at the officers. But watch. There, you see the door open. So what you're saying is the door opens after the officer has turned and unholstered his weapon. Right. We highlight the video. You see Campbell's head as he cracks the door to look, but he says he never pointed anything at anyone. Campbell does not own a handgun, and one was not found in his home. Sheriff Breedlove says the video doesn't show everything, and his deputies insisted Campbell pointed a weapon. So you believe there was a gun? I do. Just wasn't found? Yes. That's the reason Campbell was taken into custody and charged with assaulting the officers. Now, months later, bullet holes remain in Campbell's home, a reminder of the night he says he very nearly died. I'm scared to death if I've opened my door, who's out here now? As for what really happened, someone here appears not to be telling the whole truth. Campbell says he's an innocent man who thought strangers up to no good were on his property. The sheriff says his deputies did nothing wrong. It's a split-second decision that is, that is studied, scrutinized, judged for days, weeks on end, and it'll just come down to um, our day in court. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Nick, thank you. Campbell's federal lawsuit seeks punitive damages from the sheriff, his deputies, and the Cheatham County government.
It was shocking video we first showed you last week. Now the Cheatham County deputy involved is fired after a Metro Police investigation. News Channel 5's Nick Barris has more on the civil rights lawsuit and a look at the overall picture of the deputy's conduct. You know, the first incident happened this past August in Cheatham County. Shots fired into a home. Now the second alleged incident happened four months later at a sporting venue in Nashville. Specifically at Top Golf, the day after Christmas, Metro Police are investigating an alleged assault involving three off-duty Cheatham County law enforcement officers. The case is still under investigation, but this week all three were fired for violating policies. One of them, the now former Cheatham County Deputy Doug Fox, is also named in a separate federal lawsuit. Keep in mind th this encounter happened so fast, you know, it's, the deputies only have milliseconds to react. Sheriff Mike Breedlove talked to us last week defending his deputy's conduct in an officer-involved shooting. I'm happy that no one lost their life that night. Fox and another deputy were sent on a 911 hang-up in Chapmansboro. They went to the home of Mark Campbell, did not identify themselves, and then after an exchange with Campbell inside, Fox pulled his weapon. Do what, Mark? You good? Fox's fellow deputy was not hit, but dove for cover. Somehow, Campbell, who was behind the door, also escaped injury. And then I went to open the door, and I got the door open about four or five inches, and then boom, boom, two shots come through the door. At the time, Fox told supervisors he thought Campbell was armed. We we'll open the door, he lifts something up. Puts it up to the door like that, I shoot at him. Because I had no weapons. Campbell says he didn't point anything and no handgun was found in the home. Last week, the sheriff said he still trusted his deputy. So you believe there was a gun? I do. Just wasn't found? Yes. But since then, the sheriff has fired Fox because of the alleged incident at Top Golf. So the question, does the sheriff still trust his now former deputy? The sheriff declined to comment now other than to confirm that Fox is no longer with the department. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Nick, thank you. At this time, no charges have been filed in the alleged top golf incident, but Mark Campbell is suing Fox and the Cheatham County Sheriff in federal court, alleging, among other things, use of excessive force. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. See you later.